everyone, welcome. This is Cheryl. Today I'm gonna to be doing a flip through of my design team project for the Graphics Fairy. Um, this journal I decided to go with a traveler's notebook style junk journal, just because I think they're more portable and more practical for day-to-day -day use. And um, for this journal, I did a soft cover. I used a fabric sample book page. And here I've split the lace along the edge just so you can tie in between. And this is the back. It has like the cruel work fabric. The title, My Task, this was from an old sheet music piece that I had. And we have an antique button, rusty safety pin, and I bought a bunch of these little heart pendants. I thought since it was February, that was fitting for Valentine's Day. Let's go take a look inside. I love this this length of sari silk ribbon. It kind of has like a fringed, I just thought the colors went well with this journal. Let's go inside. Here I did a, just a little pocket. With the, this is a vintage bird card. And here, these are some items that I got off the Graphics Fairy Premium Membership site. This beautiful lady is from one of the antique photo bundles. On the back, I've just printed one of their blank aged papers on the back so it looks a little older. And this is one of their ephemera pieces. I loved it because it had the, the stamp on it. And I've included the antique optical lens. And here, this was one of their um, bookmark pages and I just decided to turn it into like a little journal and card. The um, original printout was fairly bright. So what I did to age it up more is I used one of their blank aged ephemera pieces to um, print over the top to, to darken the image up. Here is um, a um, sheet from their 1700s music bundle. And then on the reverse side, I printed another one of theirs from that bundle and aged up tracing paper. Here I've used one of their um, journaling card printouts. And instead of cutting them up, I decided I wanted to just use it as some a full sheet. And then I also used this to age it up, to darken it up, so it looked a little more older with, you know, because my papers in here are pretty dark, so. This is an antique script from Spain that I have. And here is a bird print that I have, but I used that sheet again to age it up, so it looked a little older. And I used it here, too, on one of their printable pockets. And this I just wrapped around so then you have a pocket on both sides. This is one of their ephemera pieces. And here, another one. I just love these. They're like receipts or checks. Here is a vintage bird card. And another antique script page. This is one of their beautiful botanicals. Again, everything that I used from the membership site, I printed that aged blank page on the backs. That way it looks old front and back. All the pages are coffee stained. And here is a journaling card. I loved this fountain image. 
and this is one of their bookmarks but I turned it into just a little tuck and wrapped it around so you've got a tuck on both sides. This is a, another lady from their antique photo bundle. And another one of my birds. And this is one of their um, antique newspapers. It's a French newspaper. And I it was a little light in color too, so I printed that page on the front to make it look older. Again, another one of their beautiful pockets that I aged up with that paper. This is a love letter from 1862. This is one that I have. And this is the envelope that comes with it. I just stitched around it to make a little card. These are some vintage item pieces. And here is one of the Graphics Fairies maps. Love maps. And some aged up blank music paper. Here I've used one of their printables. I think this was their wrappers printable and I just wanted to eat. I just, it was so pretty once I printed it out. So I, again, I aged it up with that, that blank antique paper just to darken it a little bit and I did that with these two these were um, some journaling cards and instead of cutting them out I just turned them into little booklets and that was the other one I will show you what those what these look like before I antiqued them. See, they're they're fairly light colored. I just wanted them to be just a little bit darker, so that's why I just printed this one over it. So, and I printed it on the inside too, so it's not stark white. And here's the back side of that antique French newspaper that I got off the membership site. Another one of the bookmarks wrapped it around. This one I didn't attach so you can take it off and do some journaling on it. Here is a, a beautiful poem that I got actually in Sheena's project that she did this month too. She, she used this one. It's just a beautiful piece and this is one of the Graphics Fairies um, book plate printables. I just loved it. I added it to some aged paper and deckled the edges. And for the script page, I just made a little pocket. Some more beautiful coffee stained paper. And another one of their beautiful botanical prints. And a vintage bird card. And this is some handmade inkjet paper that I dyed up with some coffee stained. This is the back side of that journaling card printout. But I used it just as a full sheet. And some more of the tracing paper and the other side of the 1700s music sheet paper. And here is another beautiful botanical and a few more pieces of ephemera that I got from the site. And aged them up on the back side too. So that is my last junk journal project for the Graphics Fairy can't believe six months has gone by. I just, I've had a lot of fun and getting to know everybody and um, I hope to see you all out there in the virtual world. <laughs> Hugs to all of you. Bye everyone.